Hey guys, what's up? It's Howard from Affine here. Today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the iPhone 5S. All the specs, all the details, and all the really cool features that have just been announced at today's conference. Be sure to check out my iPhone 5C video if you're interested, and subscribe because I'm going to be getting the iPhone 5S and going to be reviewing all the great apps and uh, showing you guys a guide and everything about the iPhone 5S when it comes out. So as you can see here, the iPhone 5S was announced. Uh, it's going to be available in three different colors. You've got the standard black and slate, white and slate, but also a brand new white and champagne gold. Uh, so that's definitely really cool. We've got that champagne gold color. I just cannot wait to see that color uh, on the iPhone itself. I think it's going to look uh, definitely a lot better close up holding it in hand it's not going to be a too blingy kind of gold so where it's like hey gold but it's going to be more like a subtle gold but still looks amazing uh, especially with some of these pictures we're seeing but I think it's going to look really great close up so if you take a look here we do have uh, two LED flash we're going to get more into the camera a little bit later but it does have that multi LED flash uh, which is definitely pretty cool and an improvement upon the single uh, LED flash that the old iPhone 5 had so if you look here, you can see back to back to back the uh, iPhone 5S models. You got the black, you got the gold, and you got the white. I think gold definitely looks amazing. I think it was uh, a great choice to add this into uh, the features because, you know, with the iPhone 5C, you got all the great colors. But with the iPhone 5S, you like that metallic look. And I think gold just meshes perfectly with the, uh, the colors that were already available. Uh, so if you look here, here's somebody holding the gold uh, or champagne gold iPhone 5S in their hand. So that definitely looks pretty cool. Uh, it is going to be 64-bit processor, which is amazing. Uh, that's really stepping up the game. It's adding in uh, a lot more processing power. We'll get a little bit more into the A7 chip in just a second. Uh, but it's definitely really great that they're adding uh, that 64-bit capability. So if you look here, we got the A7 chip, uh, which is a lot more powerful than the uh, A6 chip that was available in the iPhone 5. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to use it. They also got iOS 7 uh, built right in functionality. iOS 7, as you guys know, is going to be coming out uh, next week. They released the gold uh, master copy to developers today, so it's really just ramping up. Uh, and you also got all of the great native applications that are going to be available for the iPhone 5S. Now the 64-bit desktop class architecture is really great because it's the same kind of 64-bit that you might be running on your desktop, but it's on your phone. So that really just brings mobile capacity to a whole new level that you can have the same kind of uh, processors that you might have in your computer or your laptop right there on your phone. Uh, now it is going to have a lot of great other stuff. You can read the screen here if you want uh, to get a little bit more geeky into the tech stuff. But uh, as you can see, it's going to be a totally beefed up processor with a lot more features uh, than what the A6 had. Now, it is going to be a native 64-bit kernel libraries and drivers. Uh, all the built-in apps are going to be re-engineered um, and seamless developer transition, which means all of your favorite apps uh, from iOS 6 are going to be seamlessly transitioned into iOS 7. And it can run 32-bit and 64-bit apps, which is really cool because they allow developers to create these 64-bit apps specifically for the iPhone 5S. So I just can't wait for that to happen. I can't wait to see all the amazing graphics, all the amazing um, physics, and everything they can really just introduce using those 64-bit applications. Now, if you take a look here, we got CPU performance up to 40, per, uh, 40 times faster uh, than uh, previous models. As you can see here, the big leap from the iPhone 5 to the iPhone 5S is just drastic. You can take a look here and uh, it is almost actually more than double uh, the double the the faster than the iPhone 5S was than the iPhone 4S uh, the iPhone 5 was than the iPhone 4S. The iPhone 5S is going to be a lot faster than both the iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S. Now if we take a look here, here's just a screenshot of them playing Infinity Blade. Uh, Infinity Blade 3 is going to be coming out pretty soon. It's definitely going to use that 64-bit to its advantage. Uh, but right here we can see a look at um, what it'll look like. Now we just got a close-up of the home button. As you can see, there's a silver ring around it. More on that in just a second is really exciting. We'll get into uh, some of the details of why there's a silver ring uh, just a bit. 
But uh, right here, you can see they're playing Infinity Blade, and I definitely cannot wait until Infinity Blade 3, uh, being able to play that on the iPhone 5S. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Infinity Blade's always really stepped up their game to meet uh, the standards that each new iPhone uh, comes out with, so I really can't wait to play that game. I'm really excited for it. Uh, so here's just another look at the A7 chip. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing that they were able to pack all that uh, processing power right into that chip. And one of the ways they were able to do this is by moving uh, all the motion detection over to a motion coprocessor called the M7 chip, which is going to process all of the motion. It's going to continuously measure motion data. It's got the accelerometer, gyroscope, and compass. So basically, you're putting two chips in there. One chip's going to handle all the processing power and all that great stuff, but the other chip's going to handle all of the motion data. So you don't have to worry about uh, your data getting flooded if you're trying to do too many things at one time. So I definitely think that's a great feature as well. Now they're really boosting up the talk time browsing, LTE browsing, Wi-Fi browsing. You got like 10 hours, 8 hours, 10 hours across the board on some of the other things. Music you can play for 40 hours and a standby of 250 hours. They really have a lot of um, great upgrades to what you can do with uh, with the battery and how long the battery will last. That's definitely been some of the issues for people saying the battery isn't lasting long enough. Well, now you got 10 hours of LTE browsing and Wi-Fi browsing. That's uh, a lot more than you can ask for. That's really cool. So if you take a look here, we do have a larger uh, F2.2 aperture and a 15% larger active sensor area for the camera. It's going to be completely upgraded uh, with the camera. It's going to look amazing. Now, what it actually does in the background is it takes multiple shots, right? Multiple shots, and it picks the sharpest photo, and it uses that one. So it automatically chooses the best photo for you. I think that's a really great feature uh, just built right in there. Take a look here. Obviously, we got the dual LED flash, which is great as well. It's going to be able to shoot in uh, 120 frames per second slow motion. So that's cool. If you're filming some home videos, you'll be able to shoot in slow motion. And uh, in just a second, we're going to be talking about the really cool, really new Touch ID, which lets you fingerprint scan right there on the home button. But first, we got to thank our sponsors and AppNana. So we'll be right back after the break, but stay tuned because a lot more on the iPhone 5S right after the break. This video is brought to you by AppNana, the cool app that lets you get paid apps, iTunes gift cards, and more absolutely free. Go to AppNana.com slash AppFind in your mobile browser to get started. Now what you're going to do is just log in and create an account. From there, you'll receive 10,000 Nanas for using our unique URL. You can use points to get all of these cool apps, Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, PayPal cash, uh, and a lot more. There's a lot of great rewards all available on AppNana. Now, the way to get more points is just to download regular apps that are absolutely free. Once you download the apps like Hotels.com, you'll be rewarded with free points. We just got 3,900 points just for downloading uh, Hotels.com. For even more points, use my referral code A445859. Use that exact exact referral code to get you 2,500 more Nanas. You can use Nanas for all of these amazing apps, so what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Also click here to watch the full App Nana tutorial. Alright, we're back. So right now we just want to talk a little bit about Touch ID. Now Touch ID is the killer feature for the iPhone 5S. It's what Siri was for the 4S, is Touch ID for the 5S. This is totally new revolutionary technology that Apple has created um, using Authentic, which they bought out last summer, to be able to fingerprint scan uh, your finger right there in the home button. So all you have to do is press the home button like you normally would, and that will allow you to unlock your phone or make transaction pur uh, purchases later on, even log into accounts like Facebook or something like that just by scanning your fingerprint. So that's definitely really cool. Uh, it has 170 microns thin, uh, 500 PPI resolution, and it's 360 degrees uh, re of readability. So you could be putting your thumb down totally like from the top of the phone and it'll still be able to scan and know whether or not it's you or some guy who's trying to access your device. So the really cool thing is that um, you can lock your phone 
uh, but then unlock it very easily just by pressing your finger there and not have to worry about other people looking at your passcode and then typing it in. No, you're completely safe. Um, you'll be able just to put your thumb down there and be able to open up your phone. Also, this makes passwords a thing of the past because now you can just totally just purchase anything you want just by pressing your thumb down and authorizing the purchase that way. Uh, obviously, you can opt out and choose this traditional password approach, but especially whenever I'm in public, I don't like typing in my password, so I would just love just to be able to press my thumb up against that uh, home button and be able to for it to automatically input my password for me. Uh, it's definitely really cool. If you look here, here's what... Um, the lineup is you got the laser cut sapphire crystal stainless steel detection ring touch id sensor and a tactile switch so it's just it's just amazing tactile switch is obviously what was originally there it's like the button but the cool thing is they just integrated this right into the home button. They didn't add any additional uh, areas you need to press. You would press the home button anyways. So that's definitely really cool. I think this is the amazing killer feature that I cannot wait to try out. Um, so as you can see here, uh, Touch ID is ready. Your print can be used for unlocking your phone and then eventually making purchases and all that great stuff. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, if you want to buy something, you can either scan pr uh, fingerprint or enter password. Like I said, making password entering a thing of the past, especially when you're in public places and uh, people might be snooping or anything like that. Especially when, say you leave your phone out and uh, p if people knew your passcode, they could just type that right in with a finger fingerprint. You have to scan your fingerprint to unlock the phone so that's a really amazing feature so here's just another close-up of what it's going to look like i think it looks amazing it really look, really looks really stylish what the uh what they've done with the home button creating that metal ring around it it looks really cool uh so here's just another look at all the features and all the components that just go into making this great technology and uh, here's another look at some of the iPhones all together. Obviously, we got the gold here, the white and the black. Uh, and here are the prices. 16 gigabyte, 199, 32 gigabyte, 299, 64 gigabyte, 399 under a two-year contract. They did not release a 128 gigabyte model like was originally speculated. However, these um, are still really cool that they have uh, all of these models available for the prices that they are. They're pretty affordable, but if you, this isn't really um, something you want to pay this much for, obviously take a look at the iPhone 5C, uh, which is the 99 and 199 uh, price range. Now, uh, here's just a lay down of everything. The iPhone 4S is now free. iPhone 5C, 99, 199. Uh, iPhone 5S will run you between 199 and 399 on contract. Uh, so that's definitely really cool. Now, uh, September 13th is the pre-order. And September 20th is when it's going to be coming to stores near you. So that's basically everything on the iPhone 5S, all the great details. Now, I'm really looking forward to reading the comments and let me know what you think of all these amazing features. Just let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the Touch ID sensor? Do you think it's worth it? Are you going to upgrade? Let me know everything in the comment section below. But be sure, above all else, to subscribe because I'm going to be doing videos on everything about the iPhone 5S Right when it comes out, I'm going to be reviewing it. Uh, I'm going to be showing you all the great apps for it. So subscribe because uh, you'll definitely got, get a lot out of it. Once again, I'm Afrafine. I'll see you guys later.